Okay. All right. Hi, Jason Salichin. Uh, I'm going to be taking uh, Jason to a picnic today. A uh, local dentist who lives up by my parents, he has a big shindig every year for like uh, his patients and neighbors and such. Now, it's interesting, it's like, uh, I remember years ago, him and his dad, who was also a dentist locally, you know, they were into hunting. And my dad told him, oh, you should come around where we live out in the country. So they started going out in that region and starting hunting and stuff. And then uh, the one, the son fell in love with the area and ended up buying some property there. So I don't think he lives on a property, maybe sometimes, but he has like this... Uh, uh, big, uh, uh, well, not necessarily a garage, but big building that yeah. he, <clears throat> I think there might be a kitchen in the back and stuff, but he has a big shindig every year, shows appreciation for everybody who, where we have like free food and uh, alcohol pop. He has uh, toy giveaways for the little kids. He does, at nighttime, he'll do a f professional fireworks display because he uh, did train, I forget the name of the company, they're like a uh, big uh, well-known fireworks company that uh, so he's licensed uh, So even before he legalized it in PA he was able to put on these shows. He has like bounce houses for kids It's pretty nice of him. a really nice guy. Very nice. You know, he well <laughs> He would graduate from our school years before Jason and I yeah. I forget how much older he is <laughs> Of course, I mean, it's uh, that's probably a little exaggerated. Yeah, I, he might be older than my sister so he might be, or my sister's five years old, unless he could be more like seven. But anyways, uh, hopefully Jason will like the food, and have a good time, and we'll see you in the next video. Awesome. The next yeah. part of the video, yep. as uh, Jason reviews some. I told him it's going to be noisy there in crowds, yeah. so you might want so to do voiceover, voiceover stuff, stuff, stuff later fine. on. Nothing wrong with that. All right. So that was just my little background before we head over. Yep. And then I wanted to make a couple little notes. That's why I was talking to Spoof last night about the dipping the ears of corn in the melted butter. Mm -hmm. And then and then another side of you talking about hunting. I sure hope he's hunting for vegetables. Okay. Until next time, everybody, please take care of my legion. Hey, my legion. How are you all doing today? This is a big shindig we were talking about. A lot of people here. A celebration of, like, this dentist. Patients, neighbors, friends. And, uh... We're going to do a whole review of the food there, and it should be a lot of fun. So, please join us on side. And so, then, stay tuned and take care of my leech. Like and subscribe. Like. <laughs> Legion, how y'all doing today? I'm doing some voice so because they're playing music in there. I got some I'm trying some of the stuff there. There's a potato salad. I thought it was really good. I probably give it maybe an eight out of ten. They had all different types of salad. I got they had the uh, that a macaroni salad, which I really like. I give it a nine out of ten. Now John was saying it's probably got some Orbaniacs because uh of the uh horseradish was Orbaniacs horseradish right there. Now I'm gonna try Meatball sub. I mean, I made a meatball sandwich. Now, meatballs were fantastic. The bread was nice and soft. And that 10 out of 10. Very good. Very filling. Very filling. Let's try. Um, you know, I, I mean, I needed more napkins. You know, they had a little napkin thing. I got more napkins the second time I went up there, but I definitely needed more napkins. Very messy. Uh, trying some uh, ox roast. Very good. 
Yeah, that John's has the best autographs he had in a while. Very good, very moist, and flavorful. That like a nine out of ten. Get yeah, the coleslaw. The coleslaw was perfect. Nine out, well, nine and a half out of ten. Now, one thing that's always a good staple. I got some more uh, octros coming up. Okay, that was really good stuff. All right, now I'm going to have the Italian sauce. I got the hot sausage, but there wasn't much difference between hot and sweet. And they had like already prepared onion and peppers, and that was really good. That was a 10 out of 10 right there for that. Really delicious stuff. Really good. I really liked it. Let's try some uh, some pickles. The pickles were good. That was <laughs> 10 out of 10 for those pickles. They're really good. Um, anything was good. Wipe my hands off some. Trying some uh, pepperoncini. And then John's trying uh, octos. He really liked it. He said perfection. 10 out of 10. And uh, pepperoncini was really good and spicy. But I want to make sure not to get too spicy of the sauce and stuff like that. I mean, everything was really good. I'm very, uh, very impressed with everything. I was very, uh, now I'm getting hungry again watching all this. But everything was wonderful there. And I have a second uh, pass through with the review and stuff. Um, so I really liked everything. We just took our time eating and stuff like that and enjoyed uh friend. And John made a huge giant sandwich with the ox roast. And he he really he really dug it. He got mustard all over it. Very messy, though, but very good. So there's that part of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me corn and butter, you gotta check it first, and then get the butter you dip it in right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have some. Go. Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? This is what I was talking spoof about dipping the, uh, the corn and thing, the butter. I got the handle still on there, so I can dip without getting all over my fingers. Right there, and I got a plate. And there, and I can put some salt on it. Try it out. That's the top, top. Yeah, back to the second part, uh, second review, big meat review I got. After I had that corn, I got some more meatballs. No bread, though. I didn't want to get super stuffed. I got some turkey this time. The meatballs are fantastic. I got some uh, deep fried turkey, deep fried in peanut oil. I missed the turkey last time. And the turkey was absolutely fantastic. Some had, I mean, there was some bone in some of it, but it was really good. And I had some fruit salad. I wanted to get that. They had a regular salad but the, and dessert. And there was just so much there, I just couldn't eat it all. I actually wanted to get more corn on the cob, but I just could It was just too much. It was way too much. And now this piece was really tough right here. But it was trying by bonus. Oh, well, I'll eat it later. But here's the meatball. Meatballs were fantastic. I really liked the meatballs. Lots more of the Italian sauce was really good. I really liked it. Enjoyed it. I overdid it with the sausage. It was so, so good. So good. It was wonderful. It really was. Really good stuff. I had the other piece. I mean, this was a piece of skin from the uh, turkey, right? I'll show you. I tried to cut it, and I couldn't cut it with the... Uh, yeah, I couldn't cut it with no, those bones beneath it. But I just set the camera down and just picked it up. And it was really good. I really liked it. Yeah, the turkey was fantastic. I haven't had deep fried turkey forever. I wish I had more, but I was just so full. There's only so much I eat, and then I had to try the meat, too, of course. Not the raw meat, but regular meat. And it was really, really good. See, there I tried some piece right there. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, I was very impressed. I mean, hats off to the guy for being so generous to everybody. And the food was fantastic. I mean, I couldn't imagine with food price today. But, I mean, John said he probably got a good deal of banish. I assume. I don't know. And everything was really wonderful. I hope you like this part of the video. All right. Jason's Legion. He's going to be trying some meat from Ironstone Meadery in Erie, PA. Make sure you stick around for his full review. You got the regular and then you got the strawberry. Hey, my Legion. How are y'all doing today? I'm back and I'm doing some meat reviews. Not Robin Meat, but Reed Reviews from, uh, what's that? Uh, Ironstone Meadery. Ironstone Meadery. And we got the regular Mead right here. 
Throw it and I see, uh, take like a wine, like throw it off the It's honey. very good. That's honey. That's really good. That's very smooth and sweet. I get that nine and a half out of ten. Really good. Let's try the strawberry. One right there. The strawberry peel. Strawberry peel's okay. Forever. Yeah, strawberry peel. Beetles. Forever. That's a little bit, a little bit more uh, stronger though. But I give it a nine out of ten. But I like the regular meat just a little bit better. But they're both excellent. And I want to thank everybody for having this great shinding and stuff like that. And thank you very much for allowing me to try that. Absolutely. And, and this, it's fantastic. They're both it's fantastic. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And you said that was fifty dollars a bottle, right no, there. About fifty dollars a bottle. Wow. Holy so crap. we bought two cases. $1,200? Well, you wow. got to imagine how many bees it takes to grind up to make a full bottle. I know. <laughs> There's only so much they can produce. Yeah, so much they can produce. All right. I'll tell you what, this is worth it. Oh, it is. It's fantastic. I really like it. Thank you very much. If you had it chilled a little bit. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, look at his property right here. Yeah. I don't know if he, he was cooking food up here. Wow. But see, I don't know how much he, he has a little crappy going way, way back. Way back. Look at that giant garden right there. That's awesome. That's wonderful. Very generous of him to have this giant shindig right in here. A lot of people. They got toy giveaways and stuff for the kids. Yep. Wonderful. Yeah, it's pretty good. It goes way down here. Probably at least a half a mile. Half a mile? <laughs> Holy smiths. Maholy. Holy smoly in the back. Is there one friend he likes to <laughs> this guy bought the property yeah. so he doesn't have to worry about his subdivision ever going in or anything like that. Wow, that's amazing now. Oh well, I'm stuffed. I'm gonna try to get another ear of corn, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't, Maybe. I want you to probably explode. Yeah, I'll probably explode. <laughs> so until next time, bye please. Take care of my legion. Oh corn now. Oh my god, I'm so stuffed. And eating up a door. This I felt when I got the Brazilian steakhouse. The food was so good. Overdid on the sausage, so. Oh my god. Yeah, and closing that uh, thing that Dennis does once a year is fantastic. So generous. Uh, I couldn't imagine how much, especially with food price today. Uh, John was saying he, he saw stuff from or, or, ba or Bannocks, and they might have gave him a discount or something on the meat and stuff like that. But it was a great, I had a great time there. Just so stuffed. They need the epidural. <laughs> Just like, I feel like it did the same way as I did when I came out of the Brazilian Steakhouse. I was going to get a couple more years of corn, but no, I, I'm too stuffed. For the one year of corn was enough. And I think that was actually the best thing in the whole place. So, hope you liked the review, everybody. And a look at his property and information about him and stuff. So, until next one, bye. Please take care of my legion. Jason Callen, your YouTube channel kicks ass. Everyone should go and subscribe to Jason freaking Callen, the hot sauce king pin of them all. Yeah. Action shot. Ah, I got it, I got it. Action shot. Ready. Ah,